To improve self-confidence, you need evidence. You have to prove it. Not necessarily to others, but to yourself. Anyone can appear self-confident, but it's an entirely different thing to actually be self-confident. So how do you prove it? How do you collect this evidence for self-confidence? It's terrifyingly simple. Put yourself in uncomfortable situations. Situations where you have no choice but to continue. Otherwise, it will have a negative effect. So situations that you don't want to be in where you learn and grow the most. For example, my colleague was doing Christmas karaoke in the canteen um, one lunch time, I think this week. And I signed up to do it. And I technically already had my evidence because I had done it the year previous with my show-stopping Elvis act. And I was not nervous about it. You know, I was really looking forward to it, you know. It was really fun last year seeing all the people that enjoyed me singing and they were quite surprised that I did it. So, surprise people. And the weird thing was though, is that when I got in the canteen and saw all the people and then my name was called up for singing, my heart started beating really fast. I wasn't like mentally scared, but clearly my body didn't get the memo. I started like, you know, feeling a bit uneasy, but I knew I had to do it because what would have happened if I'd have, refused to gone up on stage i would have disappointed all the people that i told that i was going to go on stage and they would subconsciously think less of me because i was a coward so i got up on stage i did the song jingle bell rock i was applauded at the end and it felt great i also added in some dance moves that made up for my limited range of singing and I thought that was it but then as I was halfway through eating my lunch a lady on the karaoke stage was pointing to me and she started beckoning me closer so I got up and she wanted me to sing another song because she had recognized me from the Elvis thing last year so I got up completely unprepared I had every right to refuse to because I'd not prepared for a song to sing a second song and they were like oh what do you want to sing I was like um Let's do Fairy Tale of New York, which all of my Brits out there will know is a Christmas classic. And at this point, there was about 150 plus people in the canteen, all of their eyes on me. And, you know, I do the song again with some dance moves to make up for my subpar singing. Um, it was great. People started singing along in the crowd. It was a great atmosphere. I did nearly get cancelled, but that's all right. And I come off the stage, you know, the applause is thunderous. People are coming up to me saying that I was great. One guy came up to me and asked me, how do you do it? He seemed like a bit of an insecure guy and he wanted to know how I had the confidence. And I stupidly said, I am El Riz Presley. <laughs> but what I should have said is I put myself in an uncomfortable situation, a situation that I could have easily avoided and stayed in my comfort zone. But because I put myself in that conversation not conversation situation i sort of dropped myself in it i had no choice but to do it it would have been more humiliating to just run off stage in fear than to actually just do the song now i don't expect you to get up and sing in front of hundreds of people so let me give you a simple quest greet a stranger say good morning good afternoon hello just whatever just greet someone in the street that you don't know. Like me, you've probably heard older relatives talk about the good old days where people actually spoke to each other in the street and didn't, you know, scroll on their phone like an ignorant twat. <laughs> and that sounds nice to smile at another human being, acknowledge their existence and be a positive note in their day. This, however, may also be quite a difficult thing for you to do. So I recommend saying it to I don't know, friendly looking people, people with dogs, because then you can smile at the dog and then you can look up at them and say, oh, good morning. I actually tried this one time and it was, you know, it made it easier. But you can also try it with old people because, you know, they're the ones who remember times like that and they'll be more receptive to it and you'll probably pleasantly surprise them. So the first step is a simple three, two, one, go, and then make eye contact with your first victim. This is your do or die moment. If you don't say anything and just stare at this person, then they'll think something's wrong with you. And surely that's more embarrassing than simply just saying good morning to someone, right? Once you greet enough strangers, it'll get easier and you will slowly build up self-confidence. And then you will have the evidence to say, I am an outgoing person. You can't deny it because you have the proof. You only started believing because you had the evidence. Seeing is believing, get your evidence, 
and make sure you become self-confident. Take care, boys. Merry Christmas. Mwah.